Hi guys, Stuart Mackay here again and uh, I hope you're having all having a good Easter. This is filmed on Easter Saturday. I've just completed a uh, conversion of a Futaba M6 from the mid-1970s. This has been done for a Scottish friend of mine who's also in the Large Model Association. So we've sort of specced this one such that it can be used for uh, large models. And uh, I've added some extra switches on here. We've got uh, a three position switch, which will actually uh, be, could be used for a choke control. And then we've got the, an on off, an ignition on off switch here on the top left. That's in addition to the normal flight controls that we've got, which is the, you can see them moving here, the aileron controls to the F3A encoder which uh, again dual rates on this, so I'll put the switches here, flick across to, uh, that's on exponential at the moment, flick them across and that reduces the throw on the ailerons. Same with the elevators, so this switch here on the left hand side, that's elevator control you can see there, reduce that and uh, so that's in uh, the low rate version and I can uh, and control the amount of throw proportionally by this twist knob there. Uh, same with this, the ailerons as well. I can vary those, the amount that's uh, there moving as well. Okay, so that's um, that's the dual rate. Then we've got uh, a fifth channel down here, which could be used for a flat control. It's on a, with an old school linear servo from Futaba there. Um, we've got the rudder operating there on the left here and if I switch off now that should go to a fail safe position I programmed it earlier by pressing the uh, uh, bind button with, with the throttle set low that should now go to a low position which it does and the ignition is also programmed to uh, stay on if, if required so yeah that's uh, pretty much it I'll just show you what inside the thing here I've got some I put the bind button into it behind this little door here, which is quite neat really, that's gone in quite well. That's what would have been used originally for the crystal change, and that's the, the back of the, the transmitter there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, worked out really well. So hope you enjoy this one. If you do, don't you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of these uh, classic uh, transmitter conversions. Okay, thanks very much. Have a happy Easter. Bye for now.